What is up? I am Mike at MPT and in this video I'm going to be covering how to data log with the RTD4 using the TDN app. If you haven't already, you need to download and install the TDN app onto your phone. Once you do, follow the on-screen guide as far as pairing and connecting. So I'm going to connect this to the OBD2 port. One key thing here is I'm going to wait until the light is solid green. Once I see that green light, I'm going to go ahead and open the TDN app and I am intentionally waiting to open the app until I see that green light. For the next part of the video, we're going to go ahead and switch over to a screen recording so you can follow along with me throughout the process of recording a data log. Let's go ahead and open up the TDN app and notice how it's orange. We've got the MPT logo. That tells us that we have joined the MPT specific TDN network. Now for this process, I'm going to turn the key on and you're going to make sure your Bluetooth is on and as a little pre-connector, what I'm going to do is go into Resync RTD4. This same process is how the RTD4 updates. If there was any sort of tech support, um, going back and forth this is how you get that update done so I'm going to let this go ahead and process after that I'm going to go into data log and real quick I want to show you something so view and sync files out of the box the TDN does include some basic uh, configuration for data logging I'll just let you know it's trash, so if you are actually going to data log for us at all, don't use that. The only time we would ever use that is if uh, we're trying to backdoor into the TDN network. Let's say, for example, we're trying to do a stock upload read, and we're getting some sort of error, and HP Tuners is taking too long to get it fixed for us. What we would do is somebody at MPT would tell you let's go ahead and record a data log and then we'll sync that and that's going to manually join your vehicle to our network if you're not doing that make sure that you're using an MPT specific configuration file that actually has information that we want to see in a data log so I've got that listed here on the screen MPT Gen 3 EcoBoost and you could see it says selected this is on an Android the Apple iPhones, it's going to be slightly different, but pretty much the same thing. We just want to confirm it's actually selected. I can do that by clicking it. You know, I can see it's selected. I'm going to show you what it looks like by deselecting it. It's a slightly different color. It is still checked. So don't confuse the check mark or the RTD symbol of being selected. We want to confirm it is actually active. It says selected. So I'm going to go back into the vehicles. All right, so let's go back to the data logging screen. And if you ever get stuck at this starting online data logger screen, make sure you're following that process I mentioned of the green light waiting for it to be active and key on, Bluetooth on. And that Resync RTD4 really does help when you're starting to have issues with that. So right now it is data logging. Uh, I have key on engine off. This is really for demonstration purposes. You could be doing this while you're driving, having somebody else help you out, obviously. I'll go ahead and start the engine though. There's been a lot of questions of can we adjust this screen that you're looking at. Unfortunately, the answer is no. HP Tuners does not give us much control of this. Actually, no control at all. But you can see the RPMs are moving now. So that tells us the, the data log is running. I'm going to go ahead and perform a quick rev here. So that is working properly. 
So at this time, we're going to record whatever data log you were instructed to do. When we send the email with your with your MPT tunes, there is some information there about common types of data logs. You know, if you're trying to go fast, use sport mode. Um, if we're trying to review overall power, that's going to be a locked in gear pool, typically fifth gear. But if you know mile per hour is concerned, we can do that in fourth or third. The biggest thing is we want to keep it consistent. To stop the data log, I'm going to hit that stop button. And then I'm going to go into view and sync files, back into the vehicle that I'm working with. I'm going to sync files now. So what this is doing is pulling that data log that we recorded on the RT4 from it to the app. So now I can see that new log with today's date, August 28th, 2025. It is not sent to MPT yet, so I'm going to upload that, and then I'm going to click this sync files again. Now it's got that green check mark. That tells us that it has been uploaded to the MPT network. Key thing to remember here is that at MPT, we do not get any sort of notification that you have uploaded data log. So make sure to reply to your tuning ticket and tell us, hey, I just uploaded a data log and then give us some sort of specifics. This was with my 93 PRX version three tune. I was in sport mode executing a 0 to 60 pool. If you have something specific you want to look at, want us to revise, include that. Remember you are our eyes and ears. Any sort of feedback that you can provide definitely helps us help you. I want to add a special little feature here. So I have already uploaded that data log, but if, you, if I were to click it, I can choose edit and this file description, I can write information about what tune I was on and what I did during that log. So this really helps keep it organized because when that log gets up uploaded to TDN, it says exactly as listed above, log 000004, you know, date, like it does not help us at all. So if I were to do that now, upload it, it's going to be much more clear to the MPT tuning team as far as what this data log was intended for, what's the point of the review, and again, it really helps us help you. And that's it for data logging on device with the TDN app. As always, if you have any sort of questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to our MPT team, 407-636-7077. Our website is morepowertuning.com. Until next time, stay tuned.